icon you wish. I had one of these, but I don't know. Hey, what's up, guys? Nicholas Marsink here, and welcome to the Daily Vita Podcast. Today, we have a pretty interesting topic, and that is the mystery of that top port on the PlayStation Vita. We all know we researched it. We all know we can't find anything. So today, we're going to do a rumor roundup to see what that thing does and um, what it will do in the future. Now, if we look at its predecessor, the PlayStation Portable, that top USB micro port had very multi um, functions. It could charge the PlayStation Portable, it could be plugged up to the computer so that um, the device can transfer data, as well as a proprietary um, camera was released later for it, which was the PSPi, I believe. And it plugged up to the top, it was um, secured with these iron bolts or whatever screwed into it. And um, it was just a external camera for games like um, Invisibles. Um, and people pretty much didn't like it. Nobody bought anything for it, but it was there. It was an extra accessory if you wanted it. If we actually look at the PlayStation Portable, there's actually that same screw on the side of the vise right there, just waiting to be used. So I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's just not a cord that's going in there. It's gonna be other peripherals, trust me. Now, the most unlikeliest thing that will be released to this port is an extended battery pack. Now the reason why even why it's even on this list or even mentioned is because if you looked at a um, strip down by iFixit, you'll actually see that port is connected directly to the battery pack. Now this was suggested that it's going to power up whatever is going to be plugged up to the port, but um, even though it's directly plugged up to the battery, if you look at the place or um, not the PlayStation, the 3DS, you'll actually see that. Well, we all know the 3DS has bad battery, first of all. And um, they released a uh, battery pack that brought it up to five hours, and it was a pretty smash hit. They, people bought it and loved it. The PlayStation Vita already accomplishes five hours, so I don't think that they will need it. But hey, it's just a rumor. We're just gonna throw it out there. Number two to me is very likely and cool and really great if Sony did do it, and that is an L2 and R2 trigger grip. Um, this is very likely because, as you can see, there's a new movement going on with the PlayStation ecosystem. Uh, the remote play and as you can see there's something really really missing with that and that is um the l2 and r2 buttons honestly quite frankly i do not like the back touch because i have big hands and my hands always slips back there and it just mistakenly impresses the button and i'm pretty sure many gamers will get pissed off and if sony's really gonna push this remote play thing they're gonna need l2 and r2 buttons pronto So just plug it up to the top of the device and you're just gonna have the trigger grip just like the Sony trigger um, trigger grip that they release, except there's gonna be L2 and R2 buttons. It'll just plug up right to that proprietary um, port. The third thing is pretty silly, but hey, it could happen. A small little device that you plug up to the top, which will enable rumble feature. I know it's silly, but think about it. It would be an extra immersive feeling. It'd be the first handheld to have a rumble feature on it. Just a small little thing you plug up to the top. If you don't want it, you don't need it. It's just something extra you can do. You can make your PlayStation Vita feel more immersive or more like a console gaming system. This rumble pack can also be included with the L2 and R2 um, trigger grip to make it feel like more of a PlayStation 3 system or a PlayStation 4 system um, rather. So I mean, hey, it's just an extra feature. In fact, the PlayStation, Vita was going to actually have that feature before, but they didn't want to compromise the slimness of the device, so they didn't add it, so hey, it's, it's there for an extra. Uh, another thing, of course, would be a secondary PlayStation Vita camera, which is also unlikely since they already have one, and um, nobody's going to actually take pictures with their PlayStation Vita, but as times go by, we can really see that the Connect and the PlayStation Move is the next step of, um, of cameras. Even the 3DS took a next direction with its 3D camera. And the PlayStation Vita had nothing to offer. It's just there. Of course, you can do AR technology, which nobody likes. is a bad camera, so it, the AR technology isn't that great. So if there's a secondary camera and they plug it up to there, you know, we can do much better things such as facial recognition for um, some other types of games. Um, maybe location recognition based on the floor point, pinpointing, whatever. And just game immersiveness can be better as time progresses. And the last thing, which is once again the most logical, is a um, AV out, HDMI out, some type of video out service um, cord that you can do plug up to your PlayStation Vita, plug it up to the computer, and it'll just um, connect that way. The reason why they didn't want to do that is because, as you know, um, 
the PlayStation Vita runs on internet-based systems, so it's not actually fast enough to transfer data between your computer and your um, PlayStation Vita. But as times go by and softwares happen, Sony can probably have the software ready where you can record your PlayStation Vita on screen. Like, I mean, this is this is pure free promotions. Um, without this, people won't know how your games are. They won't know the true graphics. They won't know the true color representation. And honestly, this is just free promotion and good money for Sony. It's really cheap to produce these cords. You just make a uh, you just make a proprietary cord and you charge it arm and leg, like $35, $39.99 probably. And you sell it on the market. I'm telling you, a ton of people, a ton of people are gonna buy this. If you look on IGN's reviews, there's not a lot of Vita reviews because they're just tired of doing off-screen recording. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. So Sony, get with get with the program. Now, before we end this, I do want to talk about a couple consoles in the past, or handhelds rather, that use this um, function, such as uh, these mystery cords, and then release something for it, and it became a smashing kit, such as the Nintendo 64, had that extra port thing, which is a big old gap in the front, and it turned out it was a rumble pack, so like, your controller can start vibrating, whatever, and um, the Nintendo Game Boy had a proprietary printer which wasn't pretty it wasn't a hit but it still sold a lot for what it was and there was a Game Boy camera and then the most sold one was the WarioWare um, Game Boy Accelerometer everybody had one of those things that thing was a global hit um, of course the camera on the PlayStation Vita wasn't a hit um, and one last one was the Vizio Z series laptop they added an extra blu-ray disc it was just there it was just an extra port nobody knew what it was it was just there so there's a lot of stuff that had had some great um, startup with these mystery ports so guys don't get discouraged the PlayStation Vita will be better in the future hopefully this video out thing is true and um, honestly I'm really looking forward to the L2 and R2 trigger grids what do you think what do you think that port actually does I'm Nicholas Marsling and thanks for watching.